Hello there, my friends. I'm going to be reading the first chapter of Proverbs. If you want to read along, I've got a parallel Bible here. It's got four different translations. I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation because it's very easy to understand and comprehend, and I think it does the justice of all the other translations, but just really speaks louder for 2011. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them do what is right, just, and fair. These Proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to these Proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance by exploring the meaning in these Proverbs and parables by the words of the wise and their riddles. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. What you learn from them will crown you with grace and be a chain of honor around your neck. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. They may say, come and join us. Let's hide and kill someone just for fun. Let's ambush the innocent. Let's swallow them alive like the grave. Let's swallow them whole like those who go down to the pit of death. Think of the great things we'll get. We'll fill our houses with all the stuff we take. Come. Throw in your lot with us. We'll all share with the loot. My child, don't go along with them. Stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. If a bird sees a trap being set, it knows to stay away. But these people set an ambush for themselves. They are trying to get themselves killed. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for money. It robs them of life. Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street, to those gathered in front of the city gate. How long, you simple ones, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you're in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you, when calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone, and anguish and distress overwhelm you. When they cry out for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me. For they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. Therefore, they must eat the bitter fruit of living their own way, choking on their own schemes. For simple ones turn away from me to death. Fools are destroyed by their own complacency. But all who listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear of harm. We are here to live for peace. And if we're living for peace, we won't be troubled, even if they take our own life, because we will live in paradise, heaven, with God, in full love forever. You understand? Like I said before, this channel here is all about understanding that woman, especially that woman where it starts talking about in verse 20 on this. You know, wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street. You know, the woman is calling to everyone, but we've left that woman. You know, we, as human beings, made a choice to live our own way, make our own choices. We're a little bit smarter than God. We'll take what man wants us to take instead of what you want us to take, God. Right? That's our attitude, right? That's not my attitude because there is a better way to live. We've got to quit being so simple-minded 
and believe in everything they throw at us. But really, it's almost about getting back to that simple mind and getting back to our roots. And that's what we're trying to do. And that's what I'm going to try to teach and help people get motivated to maybe start reading and get inspired to help others. Thank you. I'm probably going to read through more of the book of Proverbs for the rest of the year and make videos just reading it. And probably from the New Living Translation because I've been reading out of it and I just, I like how it, I like how it's worded. I really do and I read along with the New King James, King James, New International and a few other ones just to get a full, more full meaning of it and just how I do it. Thank you for listening, comments, any advice. I appreciate, I appreciate all of it. Thank you.